The following is a fan-based parody. Helsing Ultimate is owned by Kota Hirano and Studio Madhouse and licensed by Jinian, Madman Entertainment, Manga Entertainment and Funimation. Please support the official release, you Protestant fuckbucket. This is the story about a world of adventure, a sea full of excitement, and a man full of dreams, and a passion that seeks to drive him to the top. My name is Monkey J. Luffy, and I'm going to be king of the... Yes. I love you, Edward. And I love you, Bella. Hold on. Who is it? Oh, you know. A real fucking vampire. <laughs> Police girl, do you have the target? Okay, master, my name is Ceres. And yes, I have the target in sight. Well, better take the shot. You're letting her get away. If you just give me a second to concentrate, I could- She's getting away. She's running. I get it, I'm lining up the- Going to miss it. Going to miss it. Just be quiet and let me- Hey, police girl. Hey, hey, police girl. <laughs> Oh, you are just a treat. Now I know what you're thinking. How did all this come about? Well, it all started on a midnight stroll through the woods. The air was clear. The moon was full. I was dying to sink my teeth into something. Get it? Because I'm a vampire. <laughs> it's funny. So you came to bad your far too late. What? Everyone else is already dead, except this little tart. But trust me, I still plan to kill her. Mm -hmm. But first, I'm going to rape her. Neat. But before I can do any of that, I'm going to kill you! Oh? See, that would be intimidating if you were... Well, intimidating. Are you mocking me? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Shut the heart! Well, that should about wrap things up here. Oh yeah, forgot about you. Sorry about that whole shooting you thing, but I know if you look deep into your heart, which is currently all over that tree, you'll find a way to forgive me. Aw, oh, jeez, you look like a puppy. A blonde eviscerated puppy. Christ, fine, I'll help you. But only because you got nice tits. So that's your field report? Yep. You went on a walk through the forest at midnight. Yep. You killed a homicidal vampire priest. Dead. And then you turned someone into a vampire who happened to be a big, big titty police girl. Yes, it's like I didn't just get through explaining this. Now, if you don't mind, I've got things to do. What? Things. You don't do things. Yes, I do. I take enthusiastic walks through the woods. And kill homicidal vampire priests. Very enthusiastic walks. So that's your field report? Yep. So you broke into the house? Yep. And you shot him 36 times? 37. And took out his partner? To be fair, that was the police girl. With the big titties. You need to stop going on walks. Then you need to hurry up and hook up some goddamn DSL in here. Ugh, listen. You have an assignment in Ireland. Ooh, I've never hunted down a leprechaun before. Do you think if I shoot them with my gun, Lucky Charms will explode everywhere? Sweet Christ. Just get to Ireland, kill the vampire who's taken over the hospital, and bring the police girl with you. Aw, oh, come on, I have to bring her everywhere. Uh, 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 none of the sass. Yes, Mom. So what can I do for you, Father O'Malley, O'Connell, O'Carroll, O'Reilly, O'Brien, O'Sullivan? Who is also Italian. 
Tell me, Anderson, what is your favorite thing to do? Spreading the word and love of Jesus Christ to the many people of the world, teaching peace and love for all. And the killing of vampires? Ah, oh, just try to fucking stop me. And what about a Protestants? Second verse, same as the first. Now put me on a plane so I can put them in a hearse. Hey, police girl. Police girl. This is awesome. You should totally join in. Seriously, there's like 40 zombies in here. Just one shot in the head and they explode. It's like House of the Dead, only like... A hundred times more awesome. Oh, fine! I'll shoot some of the rotten bastards. Can't be that much fun. Oh, fuck the hell yes. Sweet black fucking Sabbath. If I wasn't holding up for that beast of a woman in Tegra, I'd fuck the red right out of those eyes. Well, kinda like that, only with less symbolism and more my penis in your vagina. <laughs> huh? Suddenly it reeks of hypocrisy in here. Oh, if it isn't the Catholic Church. And what's this? No little Timmy glued to your crotch. Progress. Ah, and look at what we have here. A bloody heathen. Excuse me, but I'm a fuck-mothering vampire. I killed a lot of people to get this title. I deserve to be called such. Well then, mind if I ask you your name? Only if you give yours first, papist. Fine, I'll give you the courtesy. The name's... Alexander Anderson. Oh, fuck all kinds of duck. You have been chosen to reveal my existence to the world! You will witness what happens here today, and you will tell of it later! Except you won't! Because I'll have killed you! <laughs> oh my, brilliant speech. And unoriginal, that's totally from Boondock Saints. What? No it isn't! I came up with it a week ago! Whatever. We're here for the vampire. The only one left here is your sorry pale ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a minute. So what do you want, anyways? The nearest elementary school is at least ten kilometers away. It is your corrupt acclaim. It is your evil that will be sought by me with every breath. Boondock. Saints. Seriously, you must watch that movie religiously. <laughs> Get it? Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Knife. Knife? <laughs> Ooh. Headshot. Well, now that that's over, how about we go back to my place for a bowl of my favorite cereal, Count Chuck- Decapitation! Master! Well, now that that's over, how about we go back to my place for a bowl of my favorite cereal, Frankenbit? Oh, son of a Protestant whore! Well, you know what time it is! See? This kind of shit is why I stopped going to church. Police girl. Police girl. You are reading your master's mind. Put my head between your boobs. Now I'm alone. The only one I had left was you. Very good. Now the next thing I want you to do is put me between your legs. God damn it! It's a shame for you lost your head. A careless vampire wound up dead. You wore your sin like it was some kind of prize. Too many lies. Too many lies. What do I do? What do I do? I... I could try seducing him. Wait, no. I'm not an eight-year-old boy. Shit! Say your prayers, wee lass. That girl belongs to me. Well, aren't you the naughty one? Don't make me shoot you in the fucking head. What the hell do you want, you crazy Protestant bastard? I'm a woman. Call yourself whatever you want, you crazy Protestant bastard. You do know this is a grave violation of our agreement. And what part would that be? The part where you're here, killing my men. <laughs> I have no idea what you're on about. I'm just here doing my job. Killing vampires and werewolves and leprechauns. I never actually found one, but do you think if I cut one open with my knife it would spill out Lucky Charms? Just shut up. Where the hell is Alucard? Oh, uh, him? I killed him. Killed him? Cut off his bloody head. Oh, well, that's step one. 
What about two through ten? Ah, Christ! You done goofed. How the blood-soaked Protestant hell did you do that? Fuck you, that's how. You know what? I've had enough of this. To hell with all your dirty heathen! Eat me. Don't forget to write. Uh, oh my god. We survived. So... What? Do I get to go after him? No. Aw, oh, come on. No, and that's final. We've got bigger things to worry about. Whoever's behind these vampire attacks, it has to be some kind of large organized group. Like the Nazis? That would be retarded. Gentlemen. We are Nazis. And we will have war. And we. And we. What's it? Gesundheit! Gesundheit! Hello, Alucard. How was your mission in Japan? Eh, I'd say 99.9% done. Sup, bitch? I need to talk to you about some important guests coming today. Are they hookers? No. And like that, you've lost me. They're our financial suppliers. Oh, man. They have to hate us. They do. That's why they cancelled our budget. Ooh, that's bad. We need that, right? Walter, we need that, right? Yes, very important. Thank you, Walter. Of course, sir. Over the last couple of years, we've had some expensive claims. Like what? First off, property damage. Times. Dozens of noise complaints. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I can't hear you. Killing at least a dozen innocent people. Oh, so did Anthony Hopkins, and he got a fucking Oscar for it. And all of the sexual harassment. I'm not apologizing. Listen, I know this is asking a lot, but... But... I want you to keep yourself locked in the basement until all of them are gone. I get the distinct impression you're embarrassed of me. Alucard? I'm gonna go with no. This is important, and I don't need you causing another scene. I don't have to take this. I'm going for a walk. No, you don't! Oh, what are you gonna do? Grab that guy who can stop me? What was his name? Michael Big doesn't exist. <sighs> what do you want? What? What do I need to give you to keep you down here for the evening? I'm going to need a new gun. Also, one for the police girl. But I already have a gun! Get that bitch a cannon. Bitches love cannons. Anything else? A 70-inch plasma widescreen TV. Really? With Netflix. Should it also be 3D? No, that's a stupid fucking gimmick and everyone knows it! <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Thank you very much for accepting my invitation. Well, considering the direness of your financial security, we thought it was the least we could do. Now, before we begin, I was under the impression our budget was handled directly by the Queen. Oh, it is. However, we're having a distinctly difficult time justifying some of these expenses. Most of them under the name... Alucard? Continue. For example, some of them were frankly labeled... Entertainment. Entertainment? Quite. Like in my report. 20,000 for, uh, candy? That's candy with an I, by the way. I see. Not to mention the priceless antique car. I believe the note on the claim was, I thought I could paint it red, but I couldn't find enough goats. So I scrapped it. So that's why we found my father's car covered in goat blood and rammed into a Dairy Queen. Oh yes, and then there's also the Dairy Queen sitting at about 95,000 I would do fucking damages. anything Ultimate right now to get out of this. And so halfway through blowing me, the fucking hooker ODs on heroin! I really don't like discussing my ex-girlfriend with you. I mean, I still finish, but what kind of shit is that? For God's sakes, Yalan, think of mother. I ain't jerking off right now. Oi, you two! The grounds are currently closed. Aw, oh, man, that totally sucks. And we came all the way out here with these foreign exchange students on a field trip through England. Where from? Texas. Aw, <laughs> oh, shit. Looks like we need more prayer in schools. If you're quite finished, ready the ghouls, I'm going to find Alucard.
You overrun the rest of the mansion. All righty. Attention all bitches. Off the bus and line up in order. I got a class assignment for all y'all. And while well, the mine did survive, he'll never walk again. That's funny, we weren't cutting the power just yet. Oh, shit. Front desk report, what's going on? Oh, hey, yeah, hold on, just give me a second. Whoa. Oh yeah, it's cool. Mm. Definitely, definitely. Oh my god! Sir Integra, do something! Calm down. We have over 100 trained guards at the premises at all times. We have everything under control. What was that? That was probably the escape chopper exploding. As I was saying, let me just contact communications and get an update. Communications, come in. We need a full report. <laughs> Read the fucking paper. Read it fucking right, cockhole. Hey there, you fat English whore. That's more like it. Now keep going. Me and my big brother Luke are killing... All of your men, and turning them into ghouls. So I, I hope you've made peace with yourself. Cause when I find you, I'm gonna. Oh god. Keep reading, or I shoot the other testicle. Cause when I find you, I'm gonna fuck every hole you've got. And then I'm gonna just keep making more holes to fuck. Until there's nothing left but your riddled corpse full of blood and semen. Oh god, this is horrible. You ain't finished yet. So prepare your dried up pussy for my huge vampire cock. Now pardon me while I blow this faggot ginger's brains out. Oh god, no! Alucard, get up here now! I'm locked in with the committee on the third floor okay, and- see, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. You see, I'm under direct orders from my boss, who is a total bitch by the way, <clears throat> that I am not to leave this room until such time as the committee has left the building. I was even bribed. Imagine that. Alucard, you vampiric asshole, I will- Sounds great, but I'm gonna have to go now. I just queued up an episode of Adventure Time on Netflix. Bye! <laughs> Water! Hello, Yon. So, how's my favorite big brother doing? Oh, you know, just killed a group of guards. Shit, bro, you too? What's your kill count at? Nah, don't tell me. I'm winning. They were guarding a secret passageway downstairs. Not really keeping it a secret if you keep a bunch of armed guards standing around it. Well, you have fun with that, bro. I'm gonna go skull fuck that Helsing bitch. And the old guys. Ah, fuck it. Skull fucking for everyone! Come here, cool! Well, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. All right. Walter and his assistant should be here any second now. But if there's no way to get upstairs, how are they going to- ah! Ah! Tally, huh? Good to see you, Walter. Of course, sir. The first two floors have been entirely overrun. Communications with the outside have been cut off, we lost all our men, and Alucard is being- Alucard? A total ass, yes. Now tell me, do you have any plans? Of course, sir. I shall do exactly as the butler does. And tidy up. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Now if I give a shit, I might just give a fuck, but I don't give a shit, so I don't give a- Fuck was that? Hello. My name is Walter C. Dornays, ex-vampire hunter and butler to the Helsing organization. I answer the door, I clean up the estate, and I take out the trash. And I also kill self-entitled little twats like yourself. Well, ain't you just the textbook fucking definition of classy? But guess what, Jeeves? That garage wire won't do shit for dick against armor this thick. What's that, Alfred? How thick is it? Well, half as thick as my dick. So thick enough that you need a fucking anti-tank rifle to pierce it. And I don't even see a piece on your wrinkly old ass. Police girl, if you may. Bitches love cannons. 
Oh, fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle. Oh, fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle! <laughs> that was a 70-inch plasma screen TV. So, how can I help you? You must be the great Alucard. So? I've heard quite a lot about you. Oh, really? The Nightwalker who glides through oceans of blood. Beyond human, a monster whose power radiates with a darkness that casts a shadow on darkness itself. Oh, you dirty bitch, work the shaft. Excuse you? Oh, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I like to dirty talk when someone's sucking my dick. Perhaps I should just skip to my point. My name is Luke Valentine. And I'm Carmen San Diego. Guess where I am? I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you here. Oh, so am I. And I'm failing. And I'm sorry for that. It's just that I'm so agitated because this blonde little shit strolled into my room, destroyed my 70 inch plasma TV, and is trying to impress me like I'm his alcoholic father. Be a sport and grab daddy another beer, would you? <laughs> Ah, That's like quite impressive. Where did you learn that hold? Oh, wow, it's almost like I'm a police girl or something. Sarcasm is unbecoming of you. Wow, gee willikers, mister. I sure am sorry for slaughtering all your guards and tearing up your mansion. I promise I've learned my lesson. Ah, fuck, take a joke, asshole. And everything you say just pisses me off. Now you're going to tell me everything I want to know. All right, all right. What you do is you go down to the local pharmacy, ask for something called Viagra, and it'll help you go fuck yourself! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now for the upcoming company picnic. Unfortunately, all your douchebag co-workers are bringing is their own rotten flesh. Still better than potato salad, if you ask me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go eat that health thing, bitch! I've got your arm! So shove it up your ass! <laughs> well, that's not fair at all. I'm sorry. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Oh, they've been dealt with. Well, at least I'm gonna die with a raging boner. All right, shit for brains. You're going to spill every single thing you know, or I'm going to have Walter here peel your dick like a banana. <laughs> I don't know what's fucking funnier. The fact that you think that your titless ass intimidates me, or that you'd think my boss would let me live if you did. And now I'm on fucking fire! So now it's free game! The one who sent me was... Nazis. I heard George Lucas. Who else heard George Lucas? I heard Miami Heat. I heard the Motley Crew with my vampire hearing. Wait a second. Where's the big brother? You can't touch me! I was handcrafted to kill you! My speed, my stamina, my power all rival! Nay, dwarf yours! In comparison to you, I am a demigod! Really? 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 Release restraint level one. Level what? Oh! Oh! Fuck! You know, they say that TV makes you violent. But I say not having my TV is making me pretty fucking violent. Oh! I'm near the stairs. Gotta get to the stairs. If I could just get up the stairs, I... Oh! Fuck. Come on! You were talking all that good shit a second ago! Then I blew your fucking legs off! I... You... What the fuck? What's wrong, demigod? Just grow back your legs! Summon up your demons! Hit me! Fight me! Give me a hug! Really? Oh god, no! Hey, we're in on epic meal time! I'm the Thor's boss! And tonight, we're eating this blonde little wannabe demigod bitch! Who... 
Is that exactly? Oh, that's Alucard, the one we talked about earlier. This is what happens when he has to entertain himself. Oh, so what was that issue with our funding? Issue? What issue? I don't see an issue. Shut up and take our money! Ah, uh, and just like that, everything turned out all right in the end. Yes, everything turned out just fine. Except that 90% of our staff were killed, turned into ghouls, then killed again by the police girl in a blood rage. What's a blood rage? And why don't I remember anything? Well, that reminds me, for whatever reason, do we ever find out who sent them? It was the Nazis, wasn't it? No. Bet you I'm right. Bet you you're wrong. Bet you you're a skank. Bet you you're an asshole. Bitch, I eat people! Vampire King. Uh, uh, you lay upon the blood-soaked dirt of your ruined land. Castles plundered. Dominions in ruin. Servants destroyed. All to end the hellfire with which you sought to cover the world. A bloody conquest having consumed hundreds of thousands, countless villages razed to the ground, and over 20,000 impaled and prostrated by you and you alone to strike horror into the hearts of mortal men. What say you, monster, demon, devil conceived by the bleakest womb? What say you now? The aristocrats. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. It's orientation day! Listen close. You've all been subcontracted as personal bodyguards to the Helsing Organization. As you've heard, we deal with special interest targets. Terrorists, cultists, and individuals who believe themselves to be of... <laughs> a mystical persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything else we should be informed about the facility? Everything you need to know has already been covered in the briefing. Hey kids, wanna see a dead body? So, what's up with the Pride meeting? They're a mercenary group, contracted to replace all the soldiers we lost in the Valentine Wait, Brothers- Wait, are these guys French? We were forced to post mortality rates. They're the only ones who applied. We are really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Sir Integra, I apologize, I tried to stop him. But when I pleaded with him, he merely responded with, and mind my French, no offense- Some taken. Fuck the police. He then proceeded to tilt every painting he passed on the way here. <laughs> oh god, walking through that hallway is going to give me such a headache now. Speaking of headaches, a very curious letter arrived for you in the mail. Enrico Maxwell? That filthy, slimy, arrogant Italian piece of sh- Maxwell, oh it's been far too long. I agree, you're no longer that little girl I used to know. Look at all those lines on your face. And look at all the brown on your nose. How is the Pope doing? Better than your failing church. Well, not all of us can exploit illegals. But you don't waste time making money off Rupert Murdoch! Honestly, if you're going to have a dick-fighting competition with a woman, you must have started off with the world's cruelest handicap. Which I'm sure benefits the nine-year-old boy you have chained up in your private Vatican jet. Which was paid for how? Oh right, generous donations from your followers to spread the word of God. All over his back. And the sun! Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. You got me a present! Kiss the sun lest he be angry, and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. <laughs> right this way, Grigby! That's right, right in front of everyone else! You're 80, you're used to it! We're going to look at art and paintings, which I believe are also art! I don't know! I'm cockney, I'm uncultured! Uh, well, my bonus is gone. Aye, kind of a mood killer. You wanna try this again some other time? Of course! Kill you later, you monstrous heathen! You too, you Catholic sociopath! Whoops, tautology! You want some coffee? I'd love some. So, the letter you sent never specified the purpose of this meeting. Consider this a business transaction. I have two pieces of information that I wish to trade with you. And what would those be? The true identity of Millennium. Who? The organization who assailed your compound. Oh yeah, there was some debate over that. And the whereabouts of said Millennium. And what could you possibly want in exchange? 
Oh, nothing major. Just two simple apologies from you and your subordinate known as the Crimson Fucker, also known as Alucard. So you want an apology from me? I figured, but didn't want to assume. And by chance, what would I have to apologize to the Iscariot organization for? Well, originally I'd ask you to apologize for being a scum-sucking, blaspheming, ignorant Protestant pig sow. But in this case, the sins of your pet vampire are of greater concern. What did he do this time? Over the last couple of years, he has sent no less than 400 death threats to the Pope. By carrier pigeon, no less. They just fly right into the Vatican. The latest one read as such. Dear Chief Replacement, I wanted to send you this friendly little letter to inform you of your imminent demise. If you're curious about the frequency of which I've sent these letters, it is merely to instill as much fear as I can, as if basting a turkey, which I will then proceed to have sex with. That's right, I'm going to fuck the fear turkey. Follow me on Twitter at the Crimson Fucker. Sincerely, Alucard. I can't help but ponder the frightful headway we make if you put that sort of energy into his job. So, that apology? <sighs> I'm sorry. So that's where they are. Interesting. But do you think Alucard will go? Not as long as it's an order. I think I have an idea. Did you know you have vacation days? I have vacation days? You mean I can leave anytime I want and not get yelled at over the phone? Because seriously, it's always over the phone. Mostly because I don't like to argue with her in person. I get a boner. It's super awkward. Quite. Well, that settles it. I'm going traveling. Yes, you can go anywhere you wish. Except for Brazil. Sir Integra was quite insistent that you never visit Brazil. I'm taking the police girl and the Frenchman. So, where is the police girl? Oh, you know, she's downstairs. Isn't that the cargo hold? I have a fear of flying coffins to tight places! Jesus wants a hug! There we are, a regular two-bedroom. Hilarious. No, I want the penthouse. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Chevy Chase currently has that room reserved. I said, you want to give me the penthouse. I want to give you the penthouse. And you want to kick out Chevy Chase because he's an asshole. And I want to kick out Chevy Chase because he's an asshole. See this, Frenchie? I can make him say whatever I want. White Chicks was amazing. White Chicks was amazing. He believes it, too. Yeah. Scarlet Tempando, Sticky Sock. The Crimson Fucker has checked in. I repeat, the Crimson Fucker has checked in. Also, I'm choosing the goddamn nicknames next time. So, if this doesn't sound weird, would you maybe like to get a drink later? Hit up a club? You're not my friend, you're my bodyguard. Make it past two weeks, I might learn your name. Until then, you'll spare blood. Jeez, fine. Also, tell that guy to stop spying on me, it's creepy! Shit, shit, shit! Now that I'm all by myself, I can just kick back and re. Shots fired from the penthouse suite on the top floor. The initial what? SWAT team has not reported back, leading officials to fear for the worst. The terrorist duo inside is comprised of a young British woman and some Ozzy Osbourne looking motherfucker. On the phone, get him on the phone. I want him on the phone right now! Hold on a minute, I gotta take this. Hello? What did you do? Alright. But you can't be mad at me. What did you do? Okay, first, I was minding my own business. Bullshit! I was! And exactly what happened whilst you were minding your own business? So I was just chillaxing in my room like a baller, and then all of a sudden these schmucks kicked in my door. One of them yelled out, Get on your knees! And I responded with, I'm not your mother last night! And they took exception to that. <laughs> But you know how that song and dance goes. Huh? And I killed all but one of them. What happened to the last one? <laughs> Pushed out like a bitch. Silver lining? I can cancel my room service. 
So, we've sent like 10 guys up there and we haven't heard back. Think everything is alright? Not all man shit. Don't worry about it. Of course everything's fine. Well, no matter what, we're still gonna get our immortality, right? Buddy, my friend, do I look like the kind of guy who would go back on an agreement? By the way, you may want to send more men. Well, that sounds reasonable. You've been like really quiet for like five minutes. Oh, I know why you're angry. It's because I went to Brazil, isn't it? Alucard, put the police girl on the phone. Really? You want to talk to... Okay, fine, whatever. Hello? Whatever you do, do not let Alucard leave that room under any circumstance. Actually, he just left. He said he was going for a walk. No! Hey guys, how's your health plan? <laughs> Apparently, it's great! Walter, be honest with me. What are we looking at in terms of collateral? Well... The Alucard amount. I heard you know how to make an entrance. If I had known you were going to do all this, I'd have hung some Union Jacks for you. Hold on. Did you put all this on for me? Who are you? I am Tobla Kane Alhambra, or the Dandy Man. I may or may not have fed a lie to the local policia that in return for your capture, I would give them immortality. And they fucking bought that? Like Discount Pishy. <laughs> you cheeky dick waffle. So then, what's the deal? A cute choice of words. I wish to play a card game, Vampiro. What, we talking 52 pickup? No. More like 52. Hit me! Oh my god, why are they doing this outside? Well, at least he's just dodging him. Oh, come on, that was on purpose! <laughs> So, he can make card clones. You act a very much rap card. Oh boy! <laughs> hey, dandy dick! You missed! Do you think Alhambra can take him? Calm down, man, it's fine. I'm just focused on what I'm gonna do with my immortality. Joke's on you, I'm getting double immortality. Huh? Oh, 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 no, 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 no! <laughs> well, let's see what he thinks about having that drink with me. <sighs> Could use a drink right now. Not used to seeing this much of my own blood anymore. Guy's got magic cards. And magic hands. Tell me, Alucard, are you a betting man? I believe that's your shtick. I'd like to make a little bear with you, vagabundo. I'll end your life with one hand. I'll take that bet. Now, hit me with your best shot! <laughs> oh, shame for you. You activated my Alucard. What? Get I'm getting real tired of this shit. You and me both. Now show me your hand. Daddy man! Hey, Dandy Man. You lost. And now I have to read your mind. By drinking all of your blood. The fuck is this? The fuck is that? The fuck are those? Oh. 
<laughs> Master? Hold on, I need to tweet about this. <sighs> Sir Integra, is something the matter? It's the fucking Nazi! I am so sorry, Major, for the failure of the dandy man. Ah, give it a rest here, Doctor. He was a Brazilian dog who died feeding a much bigger beast a valuable piece of information. But, Major, now that they know of our plans... Ah, Herr Doctor, but that is the plan. Now that they know our plan, they will plan around our plan. And so we shall in turn plan around the plan that they are planning around our plan. Your brilliance knows no bounds. And regardless... We have one advantage that they sorely lack. Zeppelins! <laughs>